guys welcome on back to another video i'll be filming just pretty much the intro and maybe some driving parts with the uh iphone the rest of the footage you're going to see today should be coming out of the sony a7 III or the sony alpha a7 alpha 3 i'm just getting here in line and we are getting on johnson seymour johnson air force base yeah. Oh. So, I'll see you when we get through the other side of the gate. All right, so now that we're through the gate, we're gonna run over here to the commissary and see if they have any cool um, vehicles for sale on the military lot. They seem to have different stuff out here. Last time we saw that classic truck, what was it, a couple months ago? Oh, man, that Mustang boy. Mm. I hope at some point in my life I get the opportunity to fly one of those P-51s. You know, whether it's like a... I don't know. I would love to fly one of those. Mm. Well, let's get over here to the, uh, to the lot and see what we got. Alright guys, I thought about it and I was like, do I want to bring the Sony out? And it doesn't look like there's a lot of vehicles out here today. So I figured let's just go ahead and, and run through these real quick and we'll get back to going about our day. So first we got a Mazda 3. What is this Mazda 3 with a 2.3 liter in it, huh? Let's take a walk around this one. Doesn't look bad. Ooh, there's some kind of red paint or something down there on the bottom. Where they ran over something. I like how they changed the gas cap. That's cool. That's cool. Boise, Idaho is where this thing came from. Okay. Let's check the uh how much are they asking for? They're only asking for three grand, and it's an 05. What do the mileage look like on this? 159,000 miles. So it's got a little bit of miles on it. You see little stuff like this where that front clip has been popped out. You can see that here. But see, you can actually snap that back in. That's nothing major. That's nothing that would keep me from wanting to buy this. 3000 for this, really, to be honest. I mean, I would try to get it less. But I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you guys think? Three grand for this too much money in the retail market? Hmm. Next, we have one of my favorites. You guys know I love this platform. I, I love the Envoys. I love the, uh, the Trailblazers. I'm not a huge fan of the 4.2. I'm just not a fan of the 4L60E transmission. Let me just be honest. But the powertrains on these have proven themselves to be pretty decent. This one, they want 3,400. It's got new tires and it runs good. I wonder what the mileage is on it. mileage is 216,000. Oh, this old guy thinks my truck's for sale. No, that one's mine. <laughs> Thought I was selling the Mamba. Nope. The Mamba would get a bunch of attention out here too. Yes, sir. Another Mazda. This one has like a glass repair or something at some point. You guys can see that there. You hear those Falcons or Eagle. What is that? 3,800 they want for it with 208,000 miles. This is not a good deal compared to that blue one down there, which looks like it's in much better shape. It's a little newer with less miles for less money. So I'd have to say negative on that one. And shout out to Carrington. He's always a Nissan guy. Look at this Maxima. This thing is actually really clean. I'm not gonna lie, this Maxima's clean. Now, they want 12 grand for this. It has 109,000 miles and it's a 2012. 12 grand, is that too much? I'm not a Nissan guy, so you guys would have to let me know if you think this Nissan is overpriced or if it's priced um, accordingly. Huh. Not too bad. And that leaves us with 
What is it, Tucson? Or Santa Fe? I'm not really big on Hyundai, so. It looks clean, though. Doesn't have any really dings or scratches on it. Santa Fe. Ooh, it's limited. Limited. You know, that means it's special. It's a limited. It's not bad. It's pretty clean. Bet you they want an arm and a leg for it, though. Let's take a look. Get away from me, Wasp. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, 2009, they want 72.50 for it. With 130,000 miles. I don't know. At seven grand, there's a lot of um, a lot more vehicle you can buy. Well, I mean, it was worth a shot. Anytime I come on a installation, I want to come by and see the what they like to call the lemon lot. I want to come by and see, you know, what's available, what's out there. I can see why somebody wants the Mamba, you know. They see this thing parked out here, they're like, yo, I wonder what they want for that. <laughs> Start. Mm, yeah. Mm. All right. Well, now we're going to go over here to the PX. Uh, or they call it the BX on Air Force bases. But we're going to go over here and pick up some stuff and get some stuff done. Uh, uh. Let's see if I can find a, an appropriate parking spot. Oh, look at that. We call this Rockstar Parking. I love it. Right up front. Oh. Yeah, we got our mask on. At least the, the uh, Air Force isn't making you wear non-stop. All right, guys, we hit up the commissary and we just needed to pick up a bottle of uh, 19 Crimes for the uh, uh, stream this coming weekend. Now we're gonna load up and head out. What is up guys? So welcome on back to another video. Today is a little bit different. I'm doing all the filming today on the new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So no big Sony or anything like that. This is just a little update video for y'all anyway. Uh, today, today we are um, going to Today, we are going to get everything finalized for the Hellcat Supercharger. If you didn't know, Chrysler or FCA is actually pretty good about ordering parts uh, for vehicles. Even if you're building something or doing something different, um, you have the ability to do that. And so I'm on my way to go finish this and get this paid for. And they said that they might also just have one, which if they do, that would be crazy as hell. So let's see. We're in the black Aspen now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I almost dropped the camera. My bad. Um, the supercharger is not going on this one. It's going on the other one. Uh, you can see I got the tarps and stuff just in case. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So we are rolling on up. Oh man, Let me zoom out a little bit, get this in the wide angle mode. So, um, I know you guys will probably say, well, why don't I just throw the supercharger on this? Because more than likely, I kind of, it's kind of, you guys are going to say it's kind of clickbait, but it's not. Um, I got to wash this Aspen too. Let's run this thing through the car wash. Um, I know you guys are going to say it's uh, clickbait, but it's not clickbait. And let me explain why. Yes, I know more than likely once we put this together without a custom tune and all this other stuff and we throw the Hellcat Supercharger on the other Aspen that we're probably going to blow up the 5.7 that's in it at some point. I understand that. It's why 
we're ordering a 6.4 liter crate motor for it um basically a scat pack engine to drop into that aspen now i've also been dealing with a couple of different companies online about ordering a, a like basically a custom front end it will still kind of it'll, it'll look like a durango maybe a little bit from the front with some custom uh custom changes so we'll see but anywho let's go ahead and get this paid for and let's run through the car wash I drive the Aspen a lot. I'm going to be driving the Aspen a lot more. So, you know, you put it in the, you sign up for the unlimited wash club when that happens, you know. Man, this thing sits so much lower than the Tahoe. It almost feels like I'm driving the car sometimes. <sighs> See, I like this. See, there's the one thing I do like about this car wash is they make sure that they get the rear of your vehicle clean. And that's different. See, they're going to spray, like, to get the bugs and other stuff off. A lot of car washes don't do all that, man. So, I... Hats off to, to Five Star, man. I love them out here in Fayetteville. They're awesome. And, like, look. they Look at all the attention to detail, man. Like, they make sure they're going to scrub the front. They wash the back. Like, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. See, look. They get in the back window. Like, they're not playing. Like, they get in the whole... They clean in the whole truck, man. I like that. I ain't gonna lie. I really do. I like this. This is probably one of the best automated washes I've been through. What you guys think about the camera quality coming out of this note as well in the uh in the comments i think my i think the, the professional sony looks a lot better but hey that's just me hey Par squad, look at that Charger RT. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get up here. We're gonna get a clean towel, wipe her off real quick. Let's see what the Aspen looks like now that she's been cleaned appropriately, shall we? Mm. Yes, I was wearing a seatbelt. I know. Look at that Dodge Chrysler with the American flag in the background. Hashtag America. Uh oh. I ain't gonna lie, they missed a little bug stuff on the front of the Aspen not liking that but overall she came out clean man these mirrors look like dog shit it came out alright I'm a little mad about this somebody got me in a parking lot or something and nerfed the door You know, you can't have chrome wheels and have them looking like dog shit.
and y'all say I don't do. <laughs> they go like, TK don't clean his own shit. Yeah, okay. My ass crack is all out. I can feel the breeze on my ass. I'm sure the people driving by are appreciating all that ass crack. <laughs> I want to get all the dirt out of these wheels, man. I want these bitches to clean. Somebody behind me. My ass cracks all out and open. Oh, man. Shout out to all my people that's out here in Fayetteville that realize people can't drive worth all fuck. Especially people that are buying 15-year-old BMWs and don't know how to drive them, man. Jesus Christ. Anyways, the Aspen is all crispy clean now. We got her all nice and buttery. If you're not following me on Instagram, at TK's Garage, you would see most of what happened today, like a couple of days early before the video goes live. I got the AC blown on me now because I'm fat and sweaty. Yeah. I need to I need to remix some of this music and start doing you know like instead of riding dirty I'm fat and sweaty they see me rolling they hating they trying to catch me fat and sweaty <laughs> that's fucked up I'm done <laughs> all right we're not going to post I know you, you uh, I'm gonna stop at this light so I can get away from this idiot. We're not going to post, even though it looks like we're going that way. We're actually going to go up to the next intersection and make a right. We're heading over to Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep. I don't even know why they call it Chrysler, because they ain't got shit from Chrysler for sale on the lot. They should just call it Dodge. <laughs> Dodge. Just Dodge. Just just Dodge Jeep Ram. You know? You have to, like, basically order a Chrysler 300 now if you want one. They don't even keep them on the lots, man. At least out this way. Anyways, let's get over here and get this uh, paperwork done for the supercharger. Tahoe got jokes. He thinks he's gonna hit the gas and come over here, but today it's, it's Mopar squad today. We Mopar squad today, fuck Chevy. <laughs> oh man, I'm about to catch all the heat. Y'all gonna be like, man, man. Oh. Oh, man. Come on, man. Squeeze that piece of shit through the intersection. Woo! Hi. So we are here at Crown. Let's go ahead on in and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I know they're going to try to sell me another car. Nope. Nope! Restrain yourself. I must. Uh-oh. I see a GT here. What they has the lights on. What's going on? What is really going on? I don't know, man. A Hellcat version of one of those would be pretty badass. All right. Now that we got that done. So in the next, what, 48 hours, they said? Um, so about the next two days, I'll be able to come up here and pick up uh, the supercharger. Pretty straightforward. Pretty pretty easy if you ask me pretty straightforward process no complaints on my end at all so now we got it cleaned we got the parts we want to get ordered for the other aspen um i got to do some more research and stuff online i think what i'm going to do with this these this video is put it together with the walk around from the um uh, military lot walk around that i did out in goldsboro for you guys the other day so that way you guys have like a full video. And um, yeah, that'll be it. But needless to say, this one is running like a champ. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, AC is nice and cold. No problems there. Um, damn, as I say that, uh, let me turn this down. <laughs> um, this thing has been running exactly how I would want it to, man. Um, you know, it's too bad they don't build them like this anymore. You know, I know someone said this is like the same wheel in the um, in the charger and stuff in the police car and the gate and your gauges are the same. They just do little touches, but they do this across all manufacturers and platforms. You know, 
when people like the comments is like man that's just a glorified Durango I know it's a luxury version just like an Escalade is just a friggin Tahoe you know what I'm saying <laughs> no different man it's no different but I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me today um, in today's video I know when I do some of these videos it's kind of just check in with you guys during the week so I don't leave you guys hanging and uh, just, you know just checking in with the subscriber family man you know I know you guys laugh and you guys said like oh look TK's trying to take lines from Fast and Furious nah man nah I, you know the mod squad the members all y'all that come through and watch every single day that shit is like family we ain't friends we family and I, and I ride like that. A lot of y'all don't know. You know, people laugh. You know, they see when I go to OKC or something, if I'm out hanging out with Randy, Randy's family. If somebody did something to Randy or somebody did something to, you know, Austin or any of the people at Wucky, any of the people I rock with, that's like they did something to my family. I'm, I'm coming 100% super hard at them. You know what I'm saying? No different. So, um, yeah. So, you know, some people will say, man, thank you for... Uh, thanks for saying that we're family. Nah, that's just how it goes, man. That's just how it goes. Look at this. The mall over here is dying. New York and companies going out of business. 60% off. I might have to go through there. Hey, fart can. <laughs> Anyways, we're rolling. We're moving. Uh, I'm going to get this thing back to the house. Now that the oil change. Um, I had to get an oil change done today, too, which you guys didn't see that part. I didn't do it. Uh, shout out to my people at Firestone for knocking it out, and um, shout out to uh, to uh, Travis. I might even link his Instagram, y'all. But see, see, I know some of y'all ladies, y'all gonna get mad. I'm saying some of y'all be thirsty, man. Y'all, y'all gonna see my dude Travis's Instagram and and be fucking in the DM. <laughs> in the DM, ah, maybe I help Travis. Let me, I'm gonna put out. I'm gonna put Travis's Instagram here just because. Yeah, <laughs> Travis gonna be like. Man, don't, don't be sharing my Instagram on YouTube no more. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. You know we always have fun when we just hang out and we're doing these little videos. I love hanging out with you guys in the live chat and chopping it up with y'all. Um, just wanted to give you guys a major salute and say major thank you guys for all the support. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. It could happen any day. And I have a massive, massive, massive announcement at 25,000 subscribers. A lot of you guys have been asking me a lot of information about different things. And um, I can't wait to share with so much stuff with you guys. And we're only a couple hundred subscribers away from 25,000 subscribers. And that's just a testament to you guys, man. The channel has been growing like gangbusters. And I really appreciate all this love and support from y'all, man. Not just, not just the super chats and the members. And stuff. I'm talking about all y'all. All y'all that come through and just hit the thumbs up just because. Y'all might not even be able to stay and watch the video, but y'all come in and be like, TK, I'm just hitting the thumbs up just because. I appreciate that shit. I really do. That that You guys don't know how huge that is for the channel and getting, getting the channel out to more people. I, I really appreciate y'all, man that be making an effort and coming through and just boosting the crap out of this channel. I, I can't I can't thank you guys enough. But uh <laughs> anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm gonna try to have a good awesome oh wait a minute. Oh I'm not gonna miss it but look he got the American flag booming off the back of that off the back of that ram. Yo, I looked in the rearview mirror and I was like, I don't know, man. I feel some type of way when I see somebody with the with the big, big joints, the big American flag, and you rolling down the road with it and just flowing in the wind. Man, that shit just looks so good, man. It's so damn crispy. Anyways, with that said, I wanted to thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys so much for uh, all the love and the support. And uh, we'll get back to our regular scheduled videos tomorrow. And... Not only, hold this L, bitch. Hold that. Mopar, bitch. <laughs> Let me stop. Because you know I'm going to get right back in the Mambo and be like, Chevy gang. <laughs> oh, let me shut up. Oh, we will get back to our regularly scheduled uh, video stuff uh, tomorrow, guys. 
um, Copart walk-arounds this week. And yes, uh, we do have a Copart win this week, and it's basically a brand new car. It is a flood car, um, so, and, and when I tell you what we paid for it, and when I show you guys the invoice, you won't believe it. I had comment, and let me address one more thing. I had comments, someone was like, TK, that Porsche was not 1100 bucks. I implore you, I'm using big words now, let me let me tuck my white boy in, I apologize. I, I, I ask, I implore for you guys to go to copart.com, sign up as a member today, and go look at what some of these flood cars go for. That Porsche sold for 1100 bucks. Is the insurance company going to take an $1,100 bid? Hell no, they're not going to take $1,100. But some people be like, TK, man, you're clickbaiting. You're just putting... Look, all I can tell you is go back and look at the history. I don't get sponsored by Auto Auctions IO, but go check out Auto Auctions IO. They'll tell you what the shit sold for every single time. All right? So, nah, man. <laughs> go look. Go look for yourself and see what some of the cars sold for. Now, sometimes they'll sell for that, and then like what they're what Copart looks like they're doing now is they'll pull it back, and it won't be up for sale for a week or two, and then they'll put it back up and see if you know a new batch of people come through, and they'll bid the car up. That's how it works, you know. I've been dealing with that with the Trackhawk in Kansas City now for over a month. Shout out to my dude New York in the city who's keeping his eyes on it for me, you know, while I'm not there. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to buy that Trackhawk for like 30k. And I can't get my hands on it. Every like the, the last time, and shout out to New York and other people that were in the auction that saw it. It literally glitched and got pulled during the auction. So that kind of stuff happens, man. It just is what it is. Who thinks the Blazers are hot garbage now? I think the Blazer looks stupid. Y'all brought that thing back as a raised Malibu. Shame on y'all, Chevy. Damn, man. I know. Let me stop because I'm gonna roast too much. And people are going to get in their feelings. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, stay tuned. The next, you know, probably the next update video, like little vlog-esque vlog video like this, is going to be about picking up that supercharger and seeing if we can bolt it onto the other aspect. Hmm. Oh, and a new starter. Hmm. Anyways, see y'all on the next one. Peace!